tying her shirt would be off to time. Her abdomen, making sure she's not using her abdominal muscles for breathing. Okay. Um, great rhythm, Jeffy Weber. Okay. I am going to look at her AP diameter. So I am making sure that anterior posterior diameter is less than half of being videotaped again, or less than the transverse diameter. So if you can see how I did that as I moved behind her. Anterior, posterior, less than the transverse. Okay? Okay. And I used her sternum, not her abdomen, not her breasts. Okay? Okay. Uh, inspecting the posterior chest wall, making sure there's no deformities, there's symmetry, um, no abnormalities visualized. Okay. I'm going to move on to palpation. Using my hands, not wimpy wimpy, but Okay, making sure there's no depressions, that everything's symmetrical. I don't feel anything. I don't feel when I press in that the ribs are moving in, so there's no rib fractures. I'm going to ask the patient, do you have any tenderness? Okay, if you see how I did that, started from the, from the top, okay, moved down, and I used the pads of my fingers, but also my whole hand. You know, my whole, my whole hand. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm cross. <coughs> Moving down, and then I moved lateral. Okay. So if I didn't do so already, I'm going to ask my patient to cross their arms before I move on, because especially here, it's important. Very good pickup. Now I'm going to do respiratory expansion. So around T4, which to me is like the scapula is down here. I just come down a little bit more. Not here by the floating ribs or by the waist, but here by the rib cage. Okay, so you're getting a good portion of the lungs where they're filled, okay? Squeezing in, I'm going to scratch down just a little bit. Squeezing in just a little bit. I'm going to ask my patient to take a deep breath in and out. Watching my hand expand and come back symmetrically. Does everybody see that? One more time. Expand and come back. And my hands move symmetrically, okay? Now I'm going to move on to tactile fremitus, giving my patients instructions. Whenever you feel, <coughs> whenever you feel my hand on your on your back, I want you to say 99, nice and slow. A little bit slower. Good. And lateral. Okay. I didn't stress this before, but don't make them rush through the 99. Don't like 99. 99. So you can really get the vibration throughout. Okay. One, two, three. So just visualizing where my hand ended here is where I'm picking up here and so on. Okay. And then lateral. And you're not going like this for lateral. You can go out. It's just more comfortable. How patient. Now I'm going to move on to percussion. Having my patient breathe normally, I'm starting at the apex, at the um, vertebral lines. Okay, now her scapula is moved out, but I have this nice area right here because her scapula is here, her vertebrae is here. So right down the middle is where I'm going to go. Okay, starting from the top. Percussion, resonant, resonant, resonant. Comparing one side to the other. 